Sorry, we're starting over. <laughs> if I'm dropping the neckline less than two inches, I don't have to do extra pattern work unless you're thinking about your aesthetic. So tracer sloper, if I were to drop this the two inches and I start from here and draw in this neckline, it makes a really oval, elongated, Morticia Adams feeling neckline. I don't know that I would do that as a designer. I would probably widen out the shoulder line just a little bit. Now that's, that's you, that's aesthetics. Nobody's in control of that but you. But I wouldn't do it the full distance that I'm dropping it. Because what happens if I'm dropping it five inches? Then I'm off shoulder. Then proportionally that doesn't work. So just kind of think, sometimes it helps if you put it on your mannequin and just kind of draw where the neckline is going to be and then just kind of piece in the lines. So probably right in here somewhere. And I would just draw a little bit more of a scoop. Does that make sense? Then this becomes the non-working piece. We're going to cut that off. We're going to discard it. And because I didn't come down farther than two inches full scale, I don't have to do anything else. That's it. Now, if I do come down farther, let's say I want a real scoop. I have to think. Oh, six inches. That's six inches for me is here. That's how low that neckline would be. That's like I'm looking at a lot of baby butt when I'm... Okay, so let's do three because that is a lot less. <laughs> okay, let's say we're gonna do a three inch drop. That cannot be possibly a three inch drop. Thank you very much. We're gonna do a three inch drop. As you can see in half scale, this doesn't seem like it makes that big of a difference. It shouldn't. You would think you why if I can draw this line and have it be good, why can't I draw this line and have it be good? Number one, we need to come farther off the shoulder still to keep it proportional. So I'm gonna draw that curve just to get us a nice scoop. Then our shoulders are starting to look more like a tank. Okay, the problem is, is right here because you've just opened up all this neckline, all this fabric is gonna drag and hang, and you've got two separate curves on a female body that are working here. You've got the flat spot here, the curve that falls off into the underarm, and the bust that starts to gain volume. All here happening right here in this area. So if we leave this the way it is, we're gonna get gap right here, and it's not gonna lay flat. So what we wanna do is we wanna come down here from the dart and we want to cut all the way up into the neckline and we're just gonna overlap it right here in the neckline by a quarter of an inch. So it doesn't really matter where it comes into the neckline, just draw it like this. Take your scissors, come in from the neck, two but not through in from the dart, two but not through. And then right here at the neck, you're gonna overlap it towards the arm's eye just by a quarter of an inch full scale, which means it's such a minute move for you, half scale, that it really doesn't feel like it's worth it, but it is. It will open up your dart down here at the bottom just a little bit it will make it a little bigger. And it will be proportionately bigger, like adding flare. And that is what it looks like finished. Okay, so I cut up and down to my pivot point and I overlapped it right at the neck, just that quarter of an inch full scale. Now remember that this piece right here, you're cutting off. This is going away. It's not existing anymore. 
goes away. I'm like, I can't find my scissors. Where did my scissors go? So down to my pivot. I don't really care which side of the dart you're working on because you're rechanging or reshaping your dart anyway. I have my line marked and I'm just gonna overlap it that far. It's opened up my dart proportionately. I fill in my paper, I seam allowance. And this just helps control gap over here on the side of the curve. That's all it does. Now the tricky part is, if you have lowered the neckline this far in the front and you have created more of a tank look on the shoulder, you have a shoulder seam intersection problem because now this shoulder seam is way smaller than this shoulder seam even with the dart, it's still way smaller, okay? So you have to drop the back and shorten the shoulder seam in the back the same. And make sure you're dropping it from the edge of the arm's eye, not from the neck. Your tank is only that big, okay? So you're only gonna be using this part of the shoulder. Close your dart, whether you're pivoting or whether you're slashing, I don't care. But you're not going to want this sloper to sit right up on the C5 vertebra on the back of your neck if this is hanging halfway to cleavage in the front. It's just uncomfortable. So you would probably drop the back, I don't know, probably an inch, just a little bit, and it would come off like this. So the back to mat, my back looks like that. I just closed my dart, cut off what I needed to cut because this was less than two inches. I could just pick the line and cut the line. But I made sure that at my shoulder seams that I am the same distance. That's what's important. 